the story. That's the song that I'm, most people know me from, you know. And uh, we recorded uh, Dan Arbach of the Black Keys was uh, before the Black Keys was in my band, and uh, and and we were friends at the time, and and we were really into a lot of the same music. He started sitting in at my Monday night gig, which was pretty much a straight ahead blues band gig that I would do in Kent, Ohio, and. Uh, his dad used to come out a bunch, and then he started bringing Dan when he turned 21, and Dan would come in and sit in, and our sort of mutual love of Hound Dog Taylor sort of brought us together. So we were trying to be Hound Dog Taylor and the House Rockers, you know, with two guitars and drums. But then, uh, you know, I was, I was already writing songs and released an acoustic album uh, by then. Um, so we started putting playing more original music in the band, and then eventually, you know, and didn't really tour or anything like that. You know, you play a show here and drive home, or we play mostly playing bars. Uh, and then on one gig during the break, you know, we were playing ten to two. Uh, we went out to the van, and Dan played me the first mixes of the big come up, and I was like, "Well, that's that." You know, do me a favor and train your replacement. Few years later, when I thought, you know, these guys are really successful, you know, he's buying recording equipment and stuff, and he offered to record and produce. Uh, every hour's a dollar gone, and that was, you know, it was a great experience. We did it at this old house in Akron in the basement. It was a lot of fun. I, you know, I love the sound of that record. I thought it was a big jump for us. And then, you know, like all records, it lasts about a year. You have some hype, and you tour, and you do that thing, and then you got to start work on the next one, and then it sort of disappeared. Well, and that song, Them Shoes, wasn't even really in the set anymore. You know, there were other rockin' tunes that sort of filled that role in the live show. And uh, then all of a sudden, you know, about four or five years after release, which means that record is dead as the dodo. And uh, all this attention because of Pandora uh, Radio and Spotify and all these things, all this new technology comes up and attached me to the Black Keys. And therefore, it also becomes attached to the White Stripes or, and all the Jack White things and all these sort of blues, rock, you know, blues influenced rock and roll. And as the keys got more successful and Jack and like we sort of, for some reason, are attached to the re algorithm that's exposed us to, you know, to millions and millions of people all over who, you know, and we're on so many of those type of stations and playlists and things that just, I don't know how it works. The technology didn't exist, you know, when we put that record out. It didn't exist at all. And that song is, you know, I mean how people know, you know, who are like, most specifically like in New York. I remember when I, when I really realized what was going on, I was, was opening for Wayne the Train Hancock, and uh, I was do like I do, you know, I was on a solo tour, so I'm on the road by myself, and, uh, and I'm hanging out by the merch table, you know, selling shirts and, you know, doing my job like I do every night. So I hear some guys talking about me, like, I wonder if he's going to play them shoes like that. And so I introduced myself. I was like, hey, guys, man, you know, thanks for coming, you know. And like, because you're on our support tour. You don't expect people to be out to see you specifically. And it was, like, nice. And they were really close to me. And they looked at me like I had three heads. Like, why is this weirdo talking to us? And I had to, like, sh I'm like, I'm Patrick. And they're like, all right, man. And, like, just sort of blew me up. I'm like... I'm sorry, guys, I didn't mean to, you know, like, I didn't understand what was going on. I was like, they're like, you're not there. You, what, what, you know, because of the perception of people think like, you're this big deal. I'm just like, I'm just super lucky, you know, <laughs> just showing my ID. Like, it's really me. I'm about to go up there, you know. Will you watch my stuff while I run to the bathroom? Like that kind of, you know. Most of all, my love's gone wrong My mind is focused on things past and gone That I have no control My mind should be the way most people say That I should just move on I'm living 
Feedback. Gotta wear your shoes. 